Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Steven and today I'll be reading Acts chapter 26. Acts chapter 26. Then Agrippa said to Paul, You are permitted to speak for yourself. So Paul stretched out his hand and answered for himself. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because today I shall answer for myself before you concerning all the things of which I am accused by the Jews, especially because you are expert in all customs and questions which have to do with the Jews. Therefore, I beg you to hear me patiently. My manner of life from my youth which was spent from the beginning among my own nation at Jerusalem. All the Jews know they knew me from the first, if they were willing to testify that, that according to the strictest sects of religion, I live a Pharisee. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made by God our Father. To this promise of our twelve tribes, earnestly serving God night and day, hope to attain for this hope's sake, King Agrippa, I am accused by the Jews. Why should it be thought incredible by you that God raises the dead. Indeed, I myself thought I must do many things contrary to the name of Jerusalem, Jesus of Nazareth. This I also did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints I shut up in prison. Having received authority from the chief priests, and when they were put to death, I cast my vote against them. And I punished them often in every synagogue, and compelled them to blaspheme. And being exceedingly engaged in rage against them, I persecuted them even to foreign cities. While thus occupied as I journeyed to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest at midday, O king among the road, I saw a light from heaven brighter than the sun, shining around me and those who journeyed with me. And when we all have fallen to the ground, I, have, I heard a voice speaking to me and saying in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It is hard for you to kick against the gold. So I said, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting, but rise up and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose to make you a minister and a witness of both of the things which you have seen and the things which I have you revealed to. I will deliver you from the Jewish people as well as from the Gentiles to whom I now sent you to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God. Then they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Therefore, King and Repot, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision, but declare first to those in Damascus and in Jerusalem, and throughout the region of Judea and to the Gentiles, that they shall repent, turn to God, and do work befitting repentance. For these reasons the Jews seized me in the temple and tried to kill me. Therefore, having obtained help from God to the day, to this day, I stand with missing both to small and great, saying not other things than those which the prophets and Moses have said come that the Christ would suffer that he would be the first to rise from the dead and would proclaim light to the Jewish people and to the Gentiles now as he thus made his defense Festus said with a loud voice Paul you are being yourself most learning is driving you mad but he said I am not mad most noble Festus but speak the words of truth and reason, for the king before whom I also speak freely knows these things, for I am convinced that none of these things escape his attention, since the things was not done in a corner of King Agrippa, you do not believe the prophets, and I know that you do believe. Then Agrippa said to Paul, You almost persuade me to become a Christian, and Paul said, I would to God that not only you, but also all who hear me tonight might become both almost and all together such as I am, expect for these change, chains. When he had said these things, the king stood up, as well as the governor and Bernice and those who sat with him. And when they had gone aside, they talked about him, saying, This man is going, doing nothing deserving of death or change. And people said to Festus, This man might have been set free if he had not appealed to Caesar. Acts chapter 26, so in Acts chapter 27.